15 years ago, my peel of the grandmother passed away because of an infection that affected her broken hip. Before that, and despite years of treatment and multiple surgeries, the infection was persistent and spread to other sites of her body. Microorganisms can resist the treatment because they reside in a complex protective communities called biofilms. In general, these biofilms are responsible for more than 80% of all chronic infections affecting the human, and they are developed under the control of chemical molecules. Microorganisms secrete these chemical molecules to communicate, to talk to their neighbors, and to control the behavior of the entire population. Therefore, the first goal of our research project was to determine the prevalence of chemical communication systems in Enterococcus faecalis, a notorious pathogen that causes several persistent and drug-resistant infections in heart tissues, bloodstream, urinary tract, and dental root canals. Using genetic screening, we found that some systems coexist frequently and their presence is essential for activities related to biofilm formation, resistance of antimicrobial treatment, and tissue damage. These data have sparked our curiosity to ask, what is going to happen if we mess up all these communication systems, if we prevent the bacteria from talking to each other? Therefore, in the second part of the research project, we used a natural compound derived from cinnamon trees and observed how these bacteria and its communication systems behave in the presence or the absence of the compound. First, we found that the bacteria treated with the natural compound become unable to develop biofilms as shown in the image to the right, which leave the bacteria isolated and can be easily cleared from the infection site by treatment or the immune system, while the cells left without treatment can still develop intact solid and dense structure as shown in the image to the left. Bacteria treated with the natural compound become less potent to produce toxins and enzymes which break down our body during the infection. More importantly, there was significant reduction in the activity of genes responsible for production and processing of these communication chemicals. Believe it or not, we observed these effects at the concentrations that don't kill the bacteria, and this is important in the current time to reduce the chances of developing resistance, a microbial feature that kills more than 700,000 cases each year globally and the number is expected to increase to more than 10 million by 2050 if no new effective treatment is introduced. Our research project drives the attention to the use of the natural compound and interrupting the communication between bacteria to prevent the development of infections. Thank you.